Today is all about very professionally marketing our latest product, the uh, JS3 Race. And this is our very best attempt. <laughs> Looks like a new toy you're having. This is our latest product, the JS3 Race. Out of the box. Brand new, out of the box. Excellent, you need a hand. Yes, it's always nice to show you something impressive. I'm impressed. <laughs> Today we do one of the most frightening things at our company. The two most frightening activities are normally done by me and AP. The second most frightening thing is doing flight testing of the critical flight tests. The most frightening thing is making videos. Is it possible to handle this heavy job of yours with a one-man show? I think the fuselage might actually be lighter than yours because the batteries are not installed at the moment. It's possible to remove them yourself? Yeah. Ace, will you help me to assemble the wings, please? No problem. Quite light. Yeah, it's only 60 kilograms of panel. It's one of the advantages of having the batteries in the fuselage. Nice. Tight. In. In. Easy. Very easy. How heavy did you say this was? About 60 kilograms of panel. Very light. AP classifies himself in the muscular group. I would not really go that far. I think spending so much time in the gym would actually produce much more results. But that's my opinion. This tip feels a bit heavier than my jets tip. Yeah, our engineers had to pull a couple of strings to accommodate our more muscular clients. But uh, you're not an engineer, so you won't understand. These mechanical and aero engineers don't regard our other engineers as engineers. I think they make a big mistake. We are also engineers. An electrical engineer. It's not an engineer. It's not an engineer. It's an electrician. We added four kilograms in each tip to relieve the bending moment on the wings. And that uh, allowed us to accommodate a 110 kilogram pilot with both batteries installed. It's quite light, AP. Yeah, less than five kilograms. Nice, but it looks slightly larger. Yeah, for a self-launcher, you need a slightly larger tailplane. Makes sense. Hmm. Even that I'm not an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I am an engineer. Yes. And to lock it, you just grab the spin over here. Are the rumors true that you once dropped your tail wheel when you removed the pin and the gear was still retracted? Those are only rumors, Ace, and that's how it will stay. AP is not the first guy to retract the tail wheel on the ground, and <laughs> I'm sure he will not be the last. Pitostatic and total energy is still on the tips of the tailplane. Same as the jet. Oh, easy. L for left. <laughs> and the nice thing, no alternate pickup source for your pitostatics because it's completely out of the wake. Definitely. You've got clever engineers, right? So how much water? 34 on the tips and 60 in the main wings at my weight. And what wing loading today? If I want to self-launch, I can go to a 57 wing loading, which is 575 kilograms. Okay, I prefer obviously 60 if it's strong conditions with the jet. Uh, if I want to join you at the 60 wing loading, I can remove one battery and fly the 60 wing loading in my race. But surely, can you take off at 575 for this thing? This is the most powerful self-launcher that I've ever flown. And even at this altitude, there's no problems taking off. Okay, so let's uh, extend the engine. Ace, will you give me a hand with the battery? Looks a bit heavy. Uh, it's only 25 kilograms, so if you spend a bit more time in the gym, you won't even feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, Ace, Ace normally compensates for his lack of exercise and going to the gym with a massive ego. So that kind of helps him through. Any special tools required? No tools required, Ace. You just uh, open the latches, make sure they're open, and why don't you go ahead and slide in the first battery? Let me give it a shot. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure that your latch is locked. That's it. As easy as that. A little bit quicker than refueling your jet for a flight. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Do you like the smell of diesel fuel, Ace? I have none of these ancient problems. The smell of diesel? These kids today. I actually don't smell diesel. Yeah? You should know we have a bunch of clever engineers there and they designed this drip free system. Ah, very nice. You designed the bloody system, we should know how it works. Plug and play. And with the system, are you not afraid of bursting your tanks? Normally that's not possible. Okay. A clever micro switch measures the tank pressure and then we'll switch it off when it's full. Okay, that's very clever. And how much fuel can you take? Um, this setup is about 16 kilograms, so the whole system is 16 kilograms plus 16 of liters, kilograms of fuel, and that brings me easily 150 kilometers with a fast profile. Oh, that's very nice. And your race? Yeah, with two batteries installed, I can have 150 um, kilo kilometers of range, and if I do a self-launch, I still have 100 kilometers left. Yeah, I think I'm a good sustainer, but I appreciate your self-launch abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fill up. Ice, ice, ice. 45 seconds, and then I can advance to full power. Is the rest operation very similar to the jet? Yeah, it's almost exactly the same single button operation. There's the master switch on. We're just waiting for the controller and the display to switch on. And you can do that in advance before you need to use the engine. Correct. Okay, so now that everything's ready, you just select extend. And how long does that take? For the entire sequence, up until full power is 18 seconds. So, very short time. And then full power, no warm up. Full power, no warm up, you can just go. Yeah, there we are at 18 seconds. Okay, so let's do a sh quick I'm run. I'm going to clear the prop. And then automatic alignment and just select retract. And there you go. No mechanical prop stops. Nothing. Simple prop breaks. All electrically done. All electric. Very simple. That's it. Let's stop this production video and let's go fly. Let's go fly.
What a day. What a nice flight. Excellent. Uh, well done. What about well, a beer? Thank you very much. Mm. Mm. Oh, a bit weak towards the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. That 0. 0.5, huh? Mm. And then it came, became 0. 0.1. And then it became minus 0. 0.1. But the rest, uh, two batteries climbing superbly. Very well. I was uh, thermaling a little bit too slowly at the beginning and I thought you were catching me. And then uh, I increased the speed slightly, put on a bit of bank angle and I thought the two gliders would match very well. Excellent. Mm. But I landed way before you. Yeah, but you've got a faster aircraft. Faster aircraft? Yeah, the jet on board. Well, I must admit I started the jet, <laughs> but I always start the jet. Yeah, you do, you do. I may not have a citation, but I have a jet. And I may not have a Tesla, but at least the other is. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's luckily I don't need a tug, eh? <laughs> <laughs>